What's up guys? Welcome to the first of many reviews. Today we're reviewing a 2014 Ducati Monster 1200S. This, this one in particular is upgraded with a bunch of Ducati performance parts, exhaust, uh, racing Evo tune. It's crazy, it's crazy. So we're gonna go in depth, uh, do a little quick review if you're looking to buy this bike. Hopefully by the end of the video, you'll learn and hopefully the features that you find here, if you want and if you're looking for it, you'll learn and you'll buy it. I'm just trying to educate and educate. <laughs> Let's get to it. I start in the front right here. So uh, there is a carbon fiber front fender. He put carbon fiber uh, dash cover right here. Put Ducati Performance um, turn signals in the front. CRG levers. Rizoma reservoirs. He has a ram mount right here. He put this aluminum, I'm pretty sure he put that here. Aluminum uh, end weight cover things. Moving on to the side, as you can see, he put a uh, term, uh, termigoni, termigoni? <laughs> uh, aftermarket exhaust. He wrapped the exhaust. Uh, there's a carbon fiber piece right here. He put a uh, frame sliders. So now I'm gonna talk about the specs. You're probably waiting for that in the beginning. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. 2014, they released two monsters, an S model and a basic model. So the difference in price between the base and the S, so the base model was around $13,000 and the S model, which is this one right here, was sixteen thousand dollars and you're wondering what do i get for i'm paying so much more money on the s model i'm gonna tell you what you're getting so the engine on this bike is a 11 degree l twin cylinder four valve per cylinder dual spark liquid cool engine i don't know how to pronounce this but it's a i'm gonna read right here Test the Trata engine. The displacement of the bike is 1,198 cc's. Compression ratio, if, if you're into that things, if you're into those things, is a 12.5 to one. Yes. So the base model of the monster, it made about 135 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. And the S model, which is this one, makes about 145 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. And then the torque for the base model is about 90, I'm sorry, 89 foot pounds of torque. And the S model, it's 92 feet pounds of torque. But this one makes a little bit more horsepower, more torque. So this one has the tune for that it got with the exhaust, the Racing Evil tune. Um, I'm not sure the specs, but I'm assuming it makes about, let's say 155 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and over 100 foot pounds of torque. So the difference between the base and the S model. So the base model, there's no Olin suspension front shock, sorry front suspension rear shock so with the s model you get olins all around olins in the front olins in the back the rear shock is fully adjustable the front tire is a 120 17 and the rear tire is a 190 17. so on the base model the front brake caliper is a m4 brembo and then on the s model is a m50 brembo the fuel tank is 4.6 gallons of monster. So the dry weight of this bike is about 401 pounds and a wet weight of 461. The seating height, if you're um, vertically challenged, 
Uh, the CI for this is about 30 inches off the floor, so it's not bad. And if you buy a new, like a new monster or any Ducati, it comes with a two year warranty, unlimited miles. So you can pretty much put like, like I don't know, 100,000 miles or 50,000 miles in two years on your bike. And if anything breaks in two, within those two years, it's free. Everybody likes free, right? We're gonna take this on a quick ride and see how she performs. Uh, before I take you on a ride, I'll do a startup so you can see how the dash looks. I'll show you the modes, riding modes, stuff like that. And then we'll go on a quick ride, talk about how it feels, the power, uh, maybe take you on some highway, back roads. It's my first review, give me a break, I'm learning, it's hard. All right, let's get to it. So I don't know if you can hear me that well, but to change the modes, you click the button right here. And then there's three modes. Touring, which is on right now. There's urban, like for wet. And then there's sport. So the sport takes out uh, traction control, ABS on the not so sensitive. Not so sensitive, uh, what's it called? whatever thing engine is on high performance on uh, touring the engine is toned down a little abs and traction control is on and then urban engine is low power traction control is all the way up let's do a cold start shall we kind of a warm start but cold start Sounds so good. This bike sounds so good. I don't know if the mic is picking it up. That sounds beastly. Sounds like a monster. Let's take it for a ride and see how she feels. So to turn it on, you turn the key on. First, I'm gonna put it in urban mode which is like wet mode see how that is then we'll go through the to the modes turn it on so turn on the key flip this up press the button oh yeah and then you see right here it says kickstand so because it's down Pull it up it goes away abs it's neutral right now Take it for a ride. Do a little Yui. Can I do U-turns? Oh wow. U-turn. Perfect. Guys, this bike sounds great. So comfortable, have no idea. Oh, yeah. Oh, if you rode this bike before, you have an idea how comfortable it is. Sorry if it's a little windy, I kind of lost my chin, my chin curtain thing. So, gotta find that. So you can remember this is an urban mode, which is like wet mode right now. So the engine is on low power, traction control, everything is on high. Now 
it sounds. So yeah, so the throttle is um, uh, ride by wire, so which is like electronically. It's not like the this is a, even though this is an older bike by now, 2014, but oh, one thing, guys, to find neutral on this bike is a pain in the butt. So before you come to a complete stop, you have to uh, try to flick it up to neutral. Because um, if you're in a stop and you try to put to neutral, it will not go into it. You have to roll the bike a little bit so it can go into neutral. So, what's it called? Well, it's, it's a... It's a... A dead, dead, dead neutral? Something like that? I don't know, false neutral? I don't know, whatever it is, but there's a word for it that I cannot remember right now, of course, right? Because I'm filming. And when I stop filming, of course, I'm going to remember it. So, this guy, this bike feels very, uh, very flickable. Look at that, Reggie. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna come to a complete stop. It's not on neutral. Not on neutral. When I try to pull it into neutral without moving, it goes to second every time. So you gotta do a little roll. And neutral, I don't know if you saw that, but yeah. The aftermarket parts you pull from Ducati Performance on this bike sounds amazing. Oh yeah. The horn does not work. You no know, left, right turn signal. I don't know what this is. This is high beam right here. Kill switch. Yeah, I think that's it. Pretty simple. The sitting position is comfortable. Six three. This bike for me feels feels sorry feels what feels a little bit small for me. I'm six three, so you if you're under six feet six one, let's say this bike will probably not be too small for you, like size wise, because I feel cramped a little bit. Um, I am, unfortunately, 230 pounds, so I'm um, pretty, pretty heavy. Oh, this bike sounds delicious. Riding it, I feel, I feel confident. It's very easy to ride. Uh, like I said, it's on urban mode, so the engine is on low power. It's very manageable, but at no means I would recommend this to a beginner. Because this is not a beginner bike. And if you do any, you know, if you uh, mess up or in any way... Uh, the bike is forgiving on urban mode but it's not I will still not recommend it for a beginner uh, maybe the monster what they have um, 600? I don't know not a 1200 especially not this one a 1200 S but the ragged modes do help but you know I'm not telling you what to do but uh, if you want to not die, you know, 
This bike is not the worst, but I'll still not recommend it. Guys, this bike sounds freaking amazing. Lost for words. This bike is so nice. Flick it. Flick of the wrist. More like flick of the ankle. Oh, my nose is itchy. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, yes. All right. Let's switch it to touring mode. So you can switch while you ride, but you cannot be on the throttle. So. You gotta let go of the throttle if you're trying to switch modes while you ride. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel the difference. So comparing it to uh, urban mode and touring, so the, on, on urban, the engine was on low, traction control on the most, and ABS on the most. Urban mode, the, the engine power is medium, traction control is on the middle, That's for sure. Freaking like, freaking flu, like freaking sideways. It was crazy. You can definitely feel like when you go on the throttle. Look, look. Whoa! It's like it wants to go. Beach. Look at the beach. The suspension absorbs the bumps very well compared to my bike, the Ducati A48. Oh my God! You feel everything on your spine. Oling suspension. Once you go Oling's, you can never go back. That's for sure. Sport mode. Oh shoot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a. <coughs> there's a difference. Touring. <coughs> to. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a difference from turning to sport, that's for sure. Look, look. Oh, look at that. I think even like flitch of the wrist a little. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm gonna go on the little straight right here. Coming up. See what this uh, puppy can do. Oh my god. Sport mode? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Applicable, very nice. Let's open her up, shall we? Make sure there's uh, nobody here, you know what I'm saying? I was hanging on for my life. If I let go, like, 
a little I'll, I'll fly out damn so yeah guys hope you like the review please be patient I'm learning um, so that was it 2014 Dukagi Monster 1200S thing sounds amazing hope you like the content and I'll see you guys next time look at that finish it with the oh yeah